One of the biggest games of the weekend, though, this was DeMatha traveling down to Woodbridge to take on Freedom. Two teams in our Fox 5 Top 5. This game was postponed twice and ultimately ruled a no contest. Very, very frustrating for both teams. Earlier tonight, though, head coach of Freedom Woodbridge stopped by Fox 5 to give us his experience. It was frustrating because, one, you know, you're getting postponed, then you come back out Friday. Then you're trying to work out logistics with the other team, trying to be respectful of the math and their travel because, I mean, they deserve that because, um, uh, you know, who they are. Like you said, you feel like an opportunity you lost, especially, like you said, we felt like we were doing pretty good. And, Coach, look, I'm a man of my word, so I want to be upfront with you, bro. Now, I have been on record for years of saying that no, public school anywhere could contend with a WCAC powerhouse. I even said before the game that you all would lose by 30 to DeMatha. I just like to make those things clear. Coming into the game, it was never an underdog feeling for us. Mm -hmm. It was just a matter of what we need to do to win the game. Uh, our kids, a testament to them and our program, just like you know, all the WCAC right. schools feel, we feel the same way about ourselves. Um, obviously, the, you know, the difference in numbers is there, but we feel like the 11 people that's on the sure. field at the same time, we're not outgunned. And Aaron Duncan, I, I, I want to be uh, clear that the game did not conclude. We were deep into the second quarter. We say the football is a four-quarter game, so we had two quarters left in that. But for you being out there on the field, what really allowed for you all to, to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with, again, a WCAC powerhouse? We felt like we could contend with anybody, no matter who it is, uh, no matter the name of the school. We felt like you put us in front of anybody that we're going to come out on top. And Aaron is a Power 5 uh, student athlete recruit, so be on the lookout for him where he decides to sign. Coach, I'll get you out of here on this. Now, you all, of course, not only this weekend, but VA6A champs last year. You ran completely through that VA6A. You're doing, again, doing it again right now. What are you all building out there at Freedom? I think right now we've ran into a special group of guys that we had come through with. Elijah Reed, Aaron Duncan, Cameron Courtney, Jeff Overton, Jonah Fuga, um, you know, Tristan Evans, but they're all benefiting from the stones, you know, that were yeah. set before them. Just like all the good programs that you cover, you know, the Mathis had a ton of guys, good counsel, and it's up to the next set of guys to take it over. So I think now you're trying to, you're finally seeing the culture of our program continue to roll over into each year, and these guys just took it to the highest level. Freedom versus DeMatha, 21 to 14 when that game was called uh, towards the conclusion of the second quarter. I want to thank you all for coming out here and featuring us on In the Sports. And you all stay ahead. We're right here on Fox 5's In the Sports. This is Xavier Gilliam, Penn State commit, and you're watching In the Sports with Chad Ricardo.